Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 25th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, earthquakes, extreme weather from around the world, and as well, disaster alerts. <clears throat> Always looking here at the Solar Dynamics Observatory images produced by them. Looking here at 304 angstroms, we have two sunspots that are incoming. One is almost equatorial and earth-facing. We also have another one in the northwestern limb there coming in. Quite a frenzy of plasma filaments still around the sun. Looking here at another light, you can see the coronal hole has diminished. Having a quick look here at the incoming two spots. And as well, there was an ejection yesterday, and it seems to be like a stream of energy coming from the sun. Looking here at another light, you can see the heliosphere being affected. Northwestern side there. But all around the sun right now, as I was talking about, fil plasma filaments are kind of in a frenzy. So something's happening on the back side of the sun, which is causing something to happen all around the surface of the sun. Observing here, sunspot number one and number two. Quick look at our Lasco 2 image. Also taking a look here at the real-time solar wind as it's steady around 400 kilometers per second. Quick look at the geospace magnetosphere as well for solar wind. And then we're going to take a look at earthquakes for the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy for a 24 hour earthquake map, especially North American continent, lots of little quakes across Alaska, Nikiski, Alaska, as well, 2.6 and a 2.5 here. South Alaska. Earthquakes in Idaho continuing. Earthquakes in Puerto Rico continuing. 3.1 be here being recorded, as well as 4.7, Colombia, South America seeing some action today, 4.9, Calama, Chile, as well as 4.1, some interesting rare quakes here in Africa, 4.5, and Mozambique Channel, as well, 4.5 here, Tanzania. Seismicity has increased across the Eurasia Plate and up into the India Plate as well. Tajikistan recording those quakes and as well northern Pakistan. 4.2 and as well 4.9 recorded last night. Romania, 4.2 in Greece. And our largest quake the last 24 hours was the 6.3 in Papua New Guinea. That was recorded last night. And some pretty deep earthquakes in Fiji, 623 kilometer depth here at a 4.5, as well a 5.0 and a 5.0 here. Fiji and Tonga, 623 kilometer depth. So stay aware and prepared. Expect a larger, shallower earthquake to follow. Looking here, minor rumbles around Krakatoa, as well a 4.4 being recorded here south of Japan, Nishihi. Let's have a look at the last seven days as there are a lot of elevated rings. Deep earthquake event happening now and has been for about a week. So stay aware and prepared. Spring equinox is upon us and is really having troubles coming into season. Let's 
stay aware and prepared, my North American friends. South America as well. And Eurasia plate line. Lots of activity being recorded, Stromboli and Etna. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Alert. You can get this app yourself and stay aware and prepared. Looking here at the most recent updates for volcanoes, Asasan in Japan, as well, Popo in Mexico, Dokono in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Nevada de Rules in Colombia, Reventador in Ecuador, Eret in Japan, Epico in Russia. And that was last night, new erup eruption there. So pretty busy day for volcanoes, about a dozen there being updated around the world. As well, the United States dealing with a lot of flooding conditions. Mississippi River is set to rise and crest over the next 12 to 24 hours throughout parts of Missouri. Flooding conditions straight north into the Great Lakes. We also have our first Pacific Tropical Cyclone or Tropical Depression 1E is alive. And we were looking at this yesterday. So they have classified it now as Tropical Depression 1E. Hitting a pretty strong high pressure ridge. We'll see how long it lasts. Looks like a pretty powerful center. But the forecast here is supposed to stay at a downgraded tropical storm. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in to The Daily Do, keeping you aware and prepared from all the world disasters, extreme weather, earthquakes and volcanoes, and as well, wildfire season is upon us. Uh, Russia just yesterday started recording many forest fires. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that situation as well. Northern Territory of Australia. Northeast of Catherine in the North Northern Territory. Also, wildfires are breaking out there. So stay safe. Let's look at our five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Always starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, as the warm temperatures are coming, but it's going to take that high pressure ridge moving in from the Pacific on a little more of our northern latitude. And it's coming. Spring is here now. Cool temperatures in the east, but the west is really starting to see it. A lot of nice weather, except for um, higher elevations in British Columbia. There's still a lot of snow falling. There's still quite a battle for temperature supremacy. Watch across the United States, southeastern, and the whole eastern seaboard straight into the Atlantic provinces later in the week as that storm forms, rages up the coast. And then another even bigger one comes out of the Pacific off the Rockies and heads straight down through Tornado Alley. So stay safe, aware, and prepared, my American friends. Tornado season is upon us, and we're already seeing some record numbers. Stay tuned to the Daily Do tomorrow. We're going to look more in depth into that. We could be on the verge of a record-breaking tornado season in North America. Overlooking Europe here, a lot of rain moving in for Central and as well Western Europe, parts of the United Kingdom, finally out of the somewhat a drought in conditions throughout the United Kingdom. Definitely doesn't feel like spring for some. Southeast Asia, not much to talk about. Coastal rains through Thailand and up through Burma, eastern Pakistan. As well, watching monsoon rains really start to develop here along the Pacific. We could be on the verge of a very intense Pacific typhoon season for parts of China and Japan. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Heavier amounts through Bolivia and Bogota. Bogota, and as well Panama, Colombia, Venezuela. 
Later in the week, watch for Southern Argentina through Buenos Aires to be receiving quite an event. Heavy rains, a lot of hail conditions, I'm sure. So stay safe, my South American friends. Don't forget to get in the comment section and say hi, even if you are Spanish. Overlooking Africa, cooler temperatures and rain moving into parts of South Africa. And as well, heavy rains, coastal region, Mozambique, straight into Lake, Lake Victoria and Uganda. No tropical storms in the Indian Ocean to talk about. Overlooking Australia, cooler temperatures, southeastern Australia. As this cold front comes in over the next couple days, watch for an even larger one later in the week. Could bring some flash flooding conditions to areas that aren't used to seeing rain, that's for sure. We'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love to you all again. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.